In Bangkok is Phil Robertson, the Deputy Asia Director for Human Rights Watch. Welcome to the program again, Phil. So the government's response when these uh, demonstrations were pretty much nascent, filing criminal charges using a newly declared state of emergency, arbitrary detention, police intimidation, the use of military information warfare units, media censorship, is all of that still in place? Yes, nothing has changed. Uh, what you've seen is a government that has not seriously negotiated on any of the major demands that the protesters have made. What they've done is charged these protesters uh, with various criminal offenses for uh, their exercise of freedom of expression, freedom of association, and peaceful public protest. Uh, and that's where we are. Nothing has really changed except now people are being released on bail uh, with the pledge that they not return to politics and not uh, re-offend uh, by uh, holding more protests. Well, I mean, each charge of les majesté can uh, result in a 15-year prison sentence. So some of these young activists could be facing more than 100 years in jail, theoretically. So you say that the government hasn't addressed the issues raised by the demonstrators. So isn't that just kicking the can down the road? I mean, if they don't do something now, if the movement is kind of curtailed because of the coronavirus pandemic, it's surely only going to return. Well, I think that is very likely. I think this young generation uh, is not happy with the status quo, and they are going to continue to uh, raise their voices and demand reforms. You know, the, the original uh, three demands were to uh, change the government, reform the Constitution, and have an end to uh, violations of the rights of people uh, raising issues with, uh, through their exercise of civil and political rights. And even those basic demands haven't been met. Phil, I know you work for Human Rights Watch, so it's kind of an unfair question to ask you. But from the outside, if the monarchy is that elevated in terms of its influence over Thai society, can the king not just sort this out? Well, there's been no real indication uh, that that is in the cards. Uh, we've seen no indication uh, that uh, such a step would uh, come forward. Um, there's just been uh, nothing of that sort uh, that has appeared. Okay, Phil, uh, do, is there any indication that uh, these young activists will be able to get the representation that might be able to help them when they eventually go to court or because of the situation in Thailand? You've got a former general who's now prime minister and he's left his army uniform behind, but it suggests that possibly it's not really the democracy that Thailand would like, it, like itself to be. It's really a, a quasi-military uh, democracy or uh, a military wearing a democracy dress. Uh, I mean, we expect that they will go to court. Uh, they do have lawyers. They do have legal representation. Uh, but we're not terribly op optimistic about the outcome. I mean, uh, these are uh, charges that are politically motivated and they're being pressed very hard against these people because they want to end the protest by decapitating the political leadership of the protests. Phil, thank you very much indeed. Phil Robertson from Human Rights Watch speaking to us from Bangkok.